Can the DJI Mini 2 do an extra 10 minutes in the air? Let's find out. Hi guys, it's Oli here. I hope you are having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to see how far can I mod the DJI Mini 2 battery to gain some extra flight time. Of course, first I will need a baseline to see how the stock battery performs. So this is a brand new Mini 2 battery. It has been charged twice maybe. And uh, I'm going to see how long can it fly with this. As you know, uh, with the, the Mini 2, DJI changed the battery technology to lithium polymer from lithium ion uh, in the Mini 1 or the Mavic Mini. It operates on a higher voltage. But um, this 2250 mAh battery anyway could perform 27 minutes and 15 seconds. I think it's quite impressive. You see, cutout voltage is 3.5 volts per cell. So here is the battery. I'm not going to bore you with a long video on how to take it apart. This is the lid I'm going to remove. I'm using this metal spatula and this is the place where it is possible to start taking apart the battery. I'm using a metal object but uh, as you will see later the LiPo cells are somewhat protected by a plastic film or card. So this is the prying motion how I managed to pop it apart. It took around 10 minutes and basically close to no damage to this uh, plastic uh, uh, battery casing. To remove the cells from this lower casing I had to warm it up because there's a double-sided tape under these two uh, LiPo cells. They are, this tape is very strong. You see how the casing bends, the spatula bends. It's a uh, yeah, you have to be really, really careful when you do this. Someone has this idea that it should be impossible to remove, but once it finally pops, it's so satisfying. So then it's relatively easy to remove afterwards. Here's the, the battery itself. I'm just removing some unnecessary stuff, which I consider being unnecessary for the future. By removing, you see here is this plastic uh, sheet, what I'm talking about, what I was talking about, which protects the cells a little bit, so it's not that bad, but we'll have to be very careful, of course. So by removing the unnecessary, quote, unnecessary things, um, the battery goes from 80 grams to roughly 72 grams which in itself is a, is already a mod or a hack, <laughs> somewhat. All right, so I've been asked many times, is it possible to put a Mini 2 battery into the Mini 1? This is a Mini 2 battery in the Mini 2, it's fully functional, because we know that it is possible to put the Mini 1 battery into the Mini 2. But here I put the Mini 2 battery into the Mini 1, and the answer is no, it doesn't work. Once I managed to turn it on, but then it was giving me like an incompatible battery version error or something, so it doesn't work. It needs to be modded. So I'm removing this film. Here is the PCB. It's quite a nice PCB, I, I must say. I, I like it very much. And uh, removing all the stickers. It's 70 grams. All right, epoxy time. You remember my earlier video, it need to be removed. I need to access these pins. They change the epoxy to this blue one. It's much stickier, it's harder to remove. Yeah, careful, there's nothing else to it. So these are the two pads I'm going to use. This is the positive terminal and there will be the negative terminal. This is where I'm going to attach additional battery. You will see it here. These are the pads which I'm going to solder wires to. So of course I have to scrape off the silk screen, this uh, black uh, paint, to be able to solder to it. Very careful not to short these terminals during the scraping procedure or during soldering. It's very important. It could potentially wreck the battery. So I just soldered up those 
points and here comes the negative terminal this wire is uh, is from a mains uh, wire two strands so it can deal with the current needed and now i'm going to drill two holes on this lower casing part to be able to thread through these uh, wires and then i'm going to tilt them out so they can get go in in an angle you see like that that will be fine so now i'm just going to reassemble the battery and with this spatula i put this put these wires aside so that this locking latching mechanism still works it has some space you see it goes together quite nice so i haven't destroyed this uh, plastic and yes the drone still works so i haven't screwed up anything i am going to solder here a connector so that i'm able to connect to this earlier made diy batteries for my mavic mini if you haven't seen those videos you can check them again velcro and this is going to be on the top of the drone and here is the full assembly the drone is already on now i'm going to connect this additional battery so now we are up to 5250 million powers as full capacity i took off at exactly one minute so that i will have to deduct at the end at the measured time so now the drone is around 100 grams overweight i can absolutely hear it on it that it struggles way more to keep it up in the air as you see, I show the phone quite often. You can slow it down or pause it. What I basically noticed is that to these marked events like forced auto landing and battery depletion time, the countdown timer is a little bit slower, but not too much. The problem with the Mini 2 batteries are that the capacity of the cells are burnt into the firmware so both the battery and the drone are counting with that capacity so increased capacity will not really make too much of a difference that's why i didn't change the cells in the drone you see now it's already in forced auto landing and then basically even with this more than double capacity the drone did only 30 minutes of flight, flight time which is not too impressive i think but can it be made better? So here is the PCB. Now, a word of caution. When I removed the epoxy, I removed accidentally one component there. I think it's a diode, but it's so small I had no chance to solder it back. What it did to the battery basically is that when I put it in the drone, it doesn't work. I have to plug it to the charger for just a second or two and then it works. So it's not a catastrophe, but it's good to know. Anyway, so this is the data line I'm going to cut there. So that I have chance to manipulate the data flow like I did it in my earlier videos and A and B points where I'm going to solder. Right now I'm soldering up point B there and that will be point A and this is where I'm going to cut it. Back to this uh, little mistake I made here actually that it's interesting to note that if there is any problem with the battery it is always a possibility to try to put it in the drone and put it on charger it resets a few things in the pcb it's um it's worth trying so after soldering up those wires and putting the battery together here i have a reassembled battery where i can manipulate the data flow between the battery and the drone here's the full assembly you can see on the top i use the exact same uh, straight pins or and jumper setup which i did in my Mavic Mini videos, so after taking off, it was at 104 now, after taking off, I'm going to disconnect the data flow from the battery to the drone, so I'm just going to bring it closer and remove the jumper, that's done, so now the drone does not get info from the battery, so it doesn't know how the battery is doing. Downside, there is no telemetry. What I see on the remote is that the battery is full and it's still full and still full and still full. So this is uh, it's quite a dangerous way to do it. I just want to see 
if that makes the trick. And as you can see, now we are at basically factory capacity. Now we are at 31 minutes, 30, and uh, we are still up. Now we are in forced auto landing. It started actually at 31.40, but the drone is still flying. And then uh, there's a point I don't want to push it uh, too much, so I just let it land. But it could do a little bit more. But uh, it anyway did uh, 39.15, so I think the point has been proven. In the next video I'm going to further modify this battery and do some more testing, cutoff voltage, uh, whatnot, and to see where, where I can push this thing. Guys, if you have anything to say or any questions, please leave it in the comment section and uh, check out my other videos if you're interested in the subject and please don't forget to subscribe. It helps out a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.